Good evening. In most states, there is no statute of limitation for murder. But there is in New Mexico in particular cases, and a pair of lawmakers think that's wrong. News 13's Madeline Schmidt is live at the Roundhouse in Santa Fe. Madeline? You know, Dean and Jessica, when it comes to second degree murder in our state, the time limit to prosecute is just six years. Representative Mo Maestas and Bill Ream, both from Albuquerque but on different sides of the aisle, are hoping their bipartisanship on this bill will change that. First degree murder, meaning premeditated, has no statute of limitation in our state. But second degree murder is classified like any other second degree felony and has a six year time limit. Maestas and Ream think any kind of killing of a human being should have no statute of limitation. You can indict on a first degree, but it's very, very difficult to prove, you know, malice of forethought in a, on a cold case. You know, it's very, very difficult because the reasonable doubt standard is so high that it's, that it's, it's difficult to prove first degree on a case that happened yesterday, much less a case that happened 20 years ago. Yeah. The bill has been introduced a handful of times before with no success. Maesta says fellow lawmakers try to muddy the waters by adding other crimes to the bill. So this year he's making sure it stays strictly about removing the statute of limitation on just second degree murder. Now Maesta says that the governor has already indicated that she will sign off on this bill if it makes it to her desk, but there's only about a week left in the session now and this bill still has to get off the House floor and all the way through the Senate first. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Madeline. Another bill co-sponsored by Mo Maestas looks to increase the penalty for attempted second-degree murder to at least nine years behind bars.